Well, Father's Day is just around the corner and while many kids would claim they have the best dad in the world, I actually do, <laughs> one man can officially add Father of the Year to his resume. It's not Carl. Our very own. <laughs> oh, sad. You deserve it, though, what Carl. What a downer. Maybe next year. Hey, Miss Blake, round of applause for yeah. a... Yes. Well done, Thanks, man. Guys. I do need to point out too. Yes. Yeah, Father of the Year is not world's best dad. That is your oh. dad. That's a mug. Yeah, that's my dad. That's a mug-based award, <laughs> and that, you can get that at lots of Westfields. And Excellent. That mug is for real. That's for anyone's dad. But Father of the Year is um, a different, a totally different thing. Your podcast is unreal, um, yes, and, and I think it's given us all an insight and a place to go um, mm. because we just don't talk about it um, very much. Um, and also, you're a terrific dad. Every time I see you talking about the kids, and we were just talking then about, you know, our kids being able to access our phones and knowing, you know, yeah. very, very difficult codes to get in there. Well, it's it's true. It's a like, jungle. It is a jungle. And, and, like, I do think that, you know, when I became a dad, which is nine years ago now, like, there is a real feeling for... Younger dad. I think I'm still. We're still younger dads. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be kind. No, you're, you're quite an old man. Right. Um, <laughs> but, no, but, but also grandpas and stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, He's looking after you. It's all good. But there is that feeling of going. We 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 know innately like we want to do it differently than our dads through no fault of theirs, but it's just mm. a different world. And there's not tons of places to turn to. That's why I do this podcast. How are the dads dad? And the fathering project. Who are the people behind the awards? are a really brilliant resource for that too. Mm. And that's the thing, you, you started nine years ago. Sunday's about to turn ten. Is that a bit scary? Th that was the <laughs> most heartbreaking thing about having a ninth birthday party is going, hang on a sec, next year's ten. Then two years after that they have a phone. Then I'll probably only see him for 25 minutes for the rest of his life. <laughs> that's 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 he's gone. Oh, no. I, you know, and there's great trips you take the kids on. I think that's, you know, terrific. Um, and, yeah. and then great stories that come out of it, things they re will remember forever. Totally. And look... You know, I th those things are great, and I'm a big fan of memory making. Like I do, yeah. that is a big part of what I think. You know, I, I, one of the skills I can bring to the fathering <laughs> table. But everybody, everybody is, is very, very different. And wow. <laughs> it's like a bungee, you? horizontal bungee, great fun. <laughs> but I think, you know, to be honest, like the great, like trips away and the, the big, like you know, mm. the big camping trip and stuff is fun. But I really, the dads I admire the most, and this is tens of thousands of dads around Australia who I get to kind of meet and interact with through doing the show. It's they're, they're the ones that are like showing up every day. It's the little ways too. Mm. Like it's making that extra effort, sitting with the kids, getting into their world. Like I hear so many beautiful stories doing the podcast, and that's the stuff that always makes me cry because I'm like, uh, that is the real stuff. Yeah. That is that that they'll remember when they're older. It's being present, isn't it? Totally being present and and all the different ways that, say, the kids that they matter and that you're interested in their life. That's very heartfelt and, and beautifully said. Um, and like I said, I, I, you, I very much admire... You are a lovely uh, too, Carlos. <laughs> I, I love the way you talk about your kids. <laughs> and, and, and I think we wouldn't be able to go through a segment like this without a dad yeah. joke day. Um, so we've got dad lots joke. of jokes coming in from all around the world. OK. Um, you're one of Australia's finest comedic talents. So, yeah. This is a terrible build-up. Don't move up like this. But do you, actually, do you know what? Drum roll. I've just remembered. I had one. But the best part about dad jokes, let's preface this by saying... A normal joke, if you're a comedian and you go to a club, you want a big laugh. Yeah. As a dad joke, you want to groan. Yes. Like, for some reason, that's I, before I was a dad, I yeah. never wanted to groan. And yeah. now, as a dad, I'm like, Mwah, that's my bread. For some reason, you want to groan. Logie's groan? Or... <laughs> yeah. Carl, so just groan. advice for future. Just wait till it's just kids. And then... <laughs> okay, yes, that literally, go. my son was talking to me. He's very into, like, Greek mythology at the moment. So mm -hmm. he's telling me about all, like, different gods, like Hera and Zeus and Poseidon and stuff. And, oh. and then he's telling me, like, different Greek tales. And we're driving along to school, and I was like, actually, mate, I said, do you, do you know the one where they, you know, they couldn't find Poseidon? He's playing Poseidon Seek. Oh! And oh. My son, <laughs> he needs a groan! I mean, oh. he's, he's nine years old, I swear. I saw him, like, glance at the handle of the car door to think... <laughs> Could I roll out of a car? <laughs> Could I get, Could out? I get out of this? Could I get out of a car going 60 k's an hour? <laughs> Bye, Dad. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, love it. Lovely to see you, mate, and congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?